hasn't happened to me. And now it has happened. Peggy, would you like to see the germ that's causing your trouble? Uh, I'd rather not, Doctor. I'd rather you did. It'll give you an understanding of the nature of your disease. I can't see a thing. Here, yeah, focus with this knob. It's that organism shaped like a coffee bean. Little things? What are they? The germ is called the gonococcus. Gonococcus? That means I have what? That means there's no question about it, Peggy. You have gonorrhea. There could be another germ like that gonococcus, couldn't there? I said there's no question, Peggy. Where would I get that? Sit down, Peggy. I've been your family physician for a long time, haven't I? Yes. And we're all friends, aren't we? Where you contracted gonorrhea is very important, not only to you, but also to the person who gave it to you. The person who gave it to me? Gonorrhea is almost always caught through intimate contact, sexual intercourse. Hasn't anyone ever told you that before? No. Things like that, well, I know about them in a vague sort of a way, but... No one ever talked about them. Not even in school? Not even your mother? My mother. I should say not. That would be facing the facts of life. What do the facts of life have to do with a girl like me? This couldn't happen to me. Now it has happened. How my vagina smells and... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final countdown. The show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Are you ready? It's showtime. Hey, kids, how would you like to hear this on the screen instead of the great show you came to see? That's what you sound like. Honest. Please cooperate and do your part in keeping this theater quiet so everyone, including you, can enjoy it. I remember lots of adults and kids, too, paid admission to enjoy the show. We must insist on absolute quiet. We just met a couple of minutes ago. For all I know, you might be a pot-smoking, jaded, wild-eyed, radical dropout. I am a pot-smoking, jaded, wild-eyed, radical dropout. I love you. Hey, 
Hey guys, it's 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 the school year and I'm homeschooling my son, so I got I gotta have quiet time. So if you want to support me, go to twitch.tv Shanny Needs Love and go uh, subscribe me with your Prime or subscribe to me. Just support me a little bit, and I'll be back during the summertime. But right now I need some quiet time, and um, they they need time where you know I can talk. But I figured I can make some money doing the ASMR Animal Crossing because the music is calming and stuff. Like it's really popular in school. You know what I mean? So that would be wonderful if you support me, guys. I don't know why I'm here. Anyway, I don't care about you doing anymore. But anyway, bye guys. That way you can expect from can to find a It's not bad. It's salty. So you see, folks, this is a serious video. Another one. I don't like really getting heavy with folks. But you know, this one goes straight out. To the lobster himself. It's Grampy. Dude. Look, I see you in Shanny's comments, man. You're an old man. Do you understand that your heart cannot take the shit that you used to do to it back in what? Nam? How old are you? Grampy, I can't remember your age and I'm not ageist because I'm 37 and coming up. I'm going to be old. I'm old now. All right. I ain't, I ain't ageist. <clears throat> but look, you have a history of heart problems. Grampy, you've got to stop harassing people and you have to stop hating because what will happen? You don't believe in Jesus. You're going to go to nothingness, Grampy Lobster. And I, you know, I can hear, I can hear some of that. But I didn't have that big of an involvement. Yeah, Grampy Lobster didn't either. Look at him. He said he's a death door, literally. His his involvement wasn't that big. It doesn't matter the amount of involvement you had, dumbass. The amount of involvement you had is immaterial. 216 children are dead because of what you fucks did. They got the answers. I saved the question. Uh, little dick, huh? Yeah. Well, at least you got one. Now that you're going out into the world, there's uh, something you should know. You see that? Yeah. That's shit. And this is Shinola. Shit. Shinola. Son, you're gonna be all right. Doctors in India are warning against the practice of using cow dung in the belief it will ward off COVID-19, saying there is no scientific evidence for its effectiveness and that it risks spreading other diseases. In the state of Gujarat, some believers have been going to cow shelters once a week to cover their bodies in cow dung and urine in the hope it will boost their immunity against or help them recover from the coronavirus. As participants wait for the dung and urine mixture on their bodies to dry, they hug or honor the cows at the shelter and practice yoga to boost energy levels. The packs are then washed off with milk or buttermilk. Miss Parker said her friends can. Miss Parker is basically saying that her friends can say these things, but um, the people who are are, are are against her can't. What does that tell you about her? What, what it tells you about her is that this woman is not sincere. She ain't real. She's a faker, her weed, and she don't know what she's talking about. And by the way, I know a lot of you like that thumbnail that I use. Miss Parker, a little mustache and everything, ladies and gents. I know a lot of you like that. But Miss Parker, uh, listen to me. If you're gonna argue with somebody like me, okay? A lot of you like to argue that I can't spell real right or anything like that. Well, man, you need to learn the difference between a serious crime, a serious thing, as opposed to something that is light and isn't really anything at the end of the day. Okay? Um, the bottom line is, Miss Parker, you told everybody that you were brutally raped. Brutally, brutally raped. Somebody from experience, and it's never happened to you. Why lie about something like that, Miss Parker? Somebody said bears. Don't, don't play with me.
<laughs> don't play with me. <laughs> Is one over here? Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't play with me. I should block your behind for that. Who said that mess to me? No, I'm not gonna block. Tell the other bears what you just saw. I personally assume the responsibility for coordinating intensive new inquiries into the matter. And I personally...
and I, you know, I can hear, I can hear some of it, but I didn't have that big of an involvement. Yeah, Grampy Lobster didn't either. And look at him; he's at he's at death's door, literally. His, his involvement wasn't that big. It doesn't matter the amount of involvement you have, dumbass. The amount of involvement you have is immaterial. Two hundred and sixteen children are dead because of what you fucks did. <laughs> Does your daughter know that, Charlie? What does your daughter think about that, Charlie? Huh? Does she know? Did you tell her that part? Oh, you conveniently left that part out, didn't you, Charlie? Hey, Stinky. Hey, Stinky. No, that's just air escaping. They can't feel anything. is murder. That's what's going on. Don't make us go good cop, developmentally disabled cop on you. Um, we know that, um, you, um, killed Lois. Um, huh? Um, no. Cold-hearted, heartless, gutless people that they are. Grumpy Lobster, yeah, he's, a, he's nothing but a cold hearted, heartless, gutless man. I've got a message. All of scumbag, loser, Lou has attacked again, I'm trying to get in a work session, but I get distracted in the middle of doing something, because Lou Stefano's false flag, and this is three whole days in a row, three whole days of every waking minute being devoted to categorizing and saving his attacks, to calling the police, preparing reports for them, to making an edit of his comments, saving his emails. 
Beef, again using yes, medical misinformation. I make a film of me talking to the police about my stalker bullying me so the community can see the police is in action and the community can see that the police are ignoring threats from within their department. The, the emails I was showing the cop involved cops, dirty cops, threatening Lou Stefano in his life and saying they would kill his family in front of his eyes if he talked. And that's the video he's flagging down as medical information for COVID. It has no information whatsoever for COVID. He's manipulating the system. Tell the families of the victims. Soon the geeks were popping up Would all you let the this town. monster ball call over the smaller and years and manipulate and abuse the system in his unholy quest to deny people the vaccine and make people sick. Can you look in the family's eyes and be like, we just soon as the geek hit the drink? I mean, turn is he had dirt on page, sure he can do whatever he wants, he can party with pedophiles, he can and sexually so assault he cops' wives, he can accuse vulnerable individuals in the community all day long. He's a one man, no good losing streak. What if those families Nothing but a pencil neck geek. Or fists, or could run you down in their little Prius. The only chance I have in life is to get a mob of people to go out. Thing. They're implicit. I have reached the end of my fucking rope. Most any night, you know where I can be found. Yes, Went too far. It was great. And apparently, I've never been on live television before. But apparently, sometimes I don't watch the sh I don't watch the news because I'm a kid. And apparently, every time, apparently, Grandpa just gives me the remote after we watch the Powerball. Uh, you noticed in my videos that I've done well for quite some time that if it's something like a serious subject that I'm giving my opinion on, I say, okay, so this is like some Revelation newsy type of stuff, or this is serious. I don't like doing videos like this, but it's serious, right? I've been doing that for a reason because. What you get when you come on my channel now, mainly, is performance art. You know what performance art is? You probably don't. Most people don't, because it's almost a lost art. It's not really done that much unless you're talking theater. Okay? And I had the pleasure of shaking the hand of Masataki Hatsumi, my grandmaster. Yes, folks, I really am a ninja. I really am a ninja. I really am. Imagine that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing how that shit works? What the fuck? That sounds like pooping man! You drive me crazy. You drive me crazy. You drive me crazy. Girl bite! Don't tell me people to keep the law. You got a girl bite! Later. You got a girl bite. Girly bite. Watch what I get tight on my face. Watch what I get tight on my face. Let's do it again. 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 What that means is that if an injustice is done to you, you usually end up recouping three to one odds on whatever it was you lost. Well, did I lose a, a marriage and a wife? Yeah, I did. And so the gods are like, okay, we'll give you three. We'll give you three back in return. And all three, literally. It's literally the all three. I get three back and one I lost. I lost Andrew, and I'm going to get these three returned. And these three will not be manipulated by the by the, the trolls and haters because the trolls and haters are going to have their hands full, I suspect, with COVID. Well, with the death of COVID. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to FrankSpeech.com. Uh, this is going to be a platform like no other. It's got it's kind of like a YouTube Twitter Good combination. Yet? We've been working on it four years. I've spent over the last four weeks, I've spent millions of dollars making it the, the most secure. We're going to be able to handle the capacity. Your input, your everything's going to be the most secure. We're not going to be able to, we're going to be attacked, but I have my own servers and everything. We're not going to be worried about Amazon taking it down or YouTube or Google or Apple. 
and we are going to get our voice of free speech out there right now. If you, if you sign up right now, or just put your get your name on here, get signed up for early VIP viewing. You're going to have exclusive viewing Thursday night at midnight, and so put your phone number in now. Get signed up, and you'll be you'll be alerted, a text message alert to where you can get on at midnight, and then on Monday morning at 9 a.m. we're going to have the biggest launch. It's going to be a two-day, I call it a prankathon. I'm going to be on there live all day long. You think it's the internet or is it the media? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Um, see, the, the, the internet, where the internet goes wrong is that it allows people a level of anonymity that they normally would not have. Right. If these trolls and haters had their jobs. If they said, if they did even a tenth of what they did in real life. Oh, they've been doing it. Oh, they got their head pounded in. Or got their head pounded in. Yeah. Right. Well, Some, see, they the talk the, that way that someone in real life. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, back that in the 70s, if they didn't have the shit they're doing to my family. Uh, some concerned citizens would have taken behind a billboard somewhere and beat the fuck out of them. I mean, that's how, that's how we rolled back in the back in the you, know, you, didn't, you didn't fuck with somebody's families, and you sure as hell didn't fuck with their kids. Oh, my God. The gourmet cat food is by Fancy Feast. In the single serving can, you can see just by looking how moist and delicious it is. How much your cat will love it. Fancy Feast. Good taste is easy to recognize. Um, I watched, you know, I'm, I'm literally going to download uh, the show and, and, and snip out the part where Ms. Parker and Drew were discussing uh, things because I, I want to get this into the hands of, of, uh, of but psych but majors but and let them study it because have this is a case, case of study of uh, that's going to be for decades because Ms. Parker is a very unusual individual. She literally cannot tell the truth. And you say, Vaughn, that's ridiculous. No, it's no. I, I mean, go back and watch. Go back and watch the interaction between Parker and True. She literally can't. She, she, can, she has to constantly be deflecting. Constantly be deflecting. Constantly changing. Constantly moving. Constantly this. She would have been excellent in the Cold War. Oh, my God. We could have used this woman. She would have been, she would have been awesome in the Cold War. Because KGB wouldn't be getting shit out of this woman. <laughs> they wouldn't be getting shit out of her. Nothing. They wouldn't get nothing out of this woman. But it's just, it, it's amazing. You know, and like I said, you know, I've encountered this twice before. I've encountered this twice before where you've got somebody who literally cannot tell you who they really are, what they really believe, how they really feel. And I, I've encountered, you know, I've encountered this twice before in the real world face to face. All right. And, it, and it's a fascinating, it's a fascinating study. And I'm just, you know, I, you know, the, the reason it took me so long to get back here is number one, I had to take a nap. My eyeballs were literally, you know, I was literally doing this shit. So I had to take me a nap. But, but moreover, was the fact that, you know, I just, I'm just awestruck. I'm just awestruck. She literally could not tell anything. She had to deflect everything. Even, even, you know, please pass the jelly. Okay, well, did she really want the jelly? No. She said that because she was deflecting against something else. Her own husband does not know who she is. Her own parents do not know who she is. She is literally hardwired this way. It's not an attack. This is not an attack. She's hardwired this way. She can't help herself. I feel sorry for her husband because her husband has no clue who the fuck he's married. And he never will. Her, her own when she When she became sentient, her parents lost her, man. She's gone at that point. She was gone at that point. Okay, because she was deflecting against her parents too. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Like I said, I've seen this twice before, and it's and it's and it's fascinating. It's fascinating uh, study. You know, as you know, I you know I'm a Cold War vet, uh, and I uh, took psychological warfare both in the military and in government circles. And it's just you know when you encounter somebody who literally every word has to be a deflection. That's just crazy. That's insane, dude. But it, but it's true. I mean, go back and watch her and her, her and true go back and forth. It, it's it's ama it's an amazing study to watch. It's it's fascinating, you know. But at the same time, it's it's just it's kind of sad actually because there is no cure for for this. She's literally hardwired this way. There is no cure. There is no way to fix her. Okay, and I use fix in air quotes. There's no way to fix her. She's this way for life. She's this way by design, if you will. You know. As my dogs bark outside, I don't know if you can hear them. But did you get? It? Man, hold on, please. It's an angry lobster. Did you get it? Public restrooms can often be a hangout for the homosexual. 
Hey, cutie. You wanna fuck me? Or duck me? <laughs> Okay, stop talking about dicks and jizz all the time. Thank you. We stop faking a terminal disease and no. garnering sympathy I don't know would somehow why I was, be good for your channel. I don't know wow. what I'm doing. Mm. Man, I, you know, there's so many things you can do to you know, bolster your channel besides faking cancer. You know, there's a lot of people out there, Rick, that suffer from cancer on a daily basis. Yeah, and a chemo. And, uh, fuck emo. He's got ass cancer like you've got cancer. But, I don't know. That's kind of as low as you can go, Rick. You know what I'm saying? And you wonder why nobody wants to be your friend. Because when you have to fake yourself like this, Rick, people can see a fake a mile away. It's like emo. Because you all don't uh, fucking pee, does you lot of fuck off. Oh, man, Rick. Are you getting? Are you calling people pedos now? Now, this is coming from a guy who admittedly jerked off while his husband was watching fucking por uh, child porn. Uh, well, folks, we hate to run, but Carl and myself are editing the things. Well, good. Go make a video, you old bastard. is everywhere. I just got done vomiting. And when it comes down to your fun brigade, I already looked into it, and I gotta say this. Ooh. If you're not watching this on the official 2018 Grand Theft channel, you're getting played. You're hurting him. No, that's just the worst thing. They can't play anything. doing crack what the f hey at least i'm not drinking brian yeah this isn't exactly a good substitute though. where'd you get crack from blacks what yeah right behind blacks hardware store there's a white guy selling it look doing crack is not the way to stop drinking you, you need to get to the heart of why you feel the need to drink in the first place 
Look, here, this is the number of a hypnotherapist I want you to see. All right, Brian. Good. Hey, Peter, just thought I'd check on you. Oh, my God! Government came and took my baby! Circling that same spot for 50 years. Just daring each other to throw the first punch. Just you try it. Oh, I'll try it. Just you try it. You'll feel it when I try it. I'd like to see you have at it. Would you now? And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. Good night.